Good morning everyone. Today's video will be a super short video so that you can, you can quickly watch it. Today's video is specifically my morning skincare routine. Now I'm not an expert, I'm not a dermatologist, but I've done a lot of research and I found out what works for me and I found out what the right or wrong is in a lot of steps. But again, I'm not an expert so I just do what works best for me. Today I've already prepped my face and so you can see what it looks like. Um, and it's also a perfect base for makeup so when you want to do your makeup this is a perfect morning skincare routine that you can do to prep your face for makeup all right the first thing I do I most of the days I go to the gym so when I get back I rinse my body and take a shower I don't wash my hair every single day so I put my hair up so in the shower I use a cleanser there are two different cleansers that I use one is by Elta MD this is a very gentle cleanser and my skin is a little bit sensitive let me put my hair up so you can see my skin better um, this is a gentle cleanser there we go see my skin a little bit better um, again I already prepped my face I've already done all my routine so that you can see what it looks like so in the shower I use this cleanser or the Elizabeth Arden silk illuminating um, cleanser now this one has been in my skincare routine for many many years this one I just started using it about six months ago love both of them definitely recommend them after I cleanse my face I go in with a scrub now I only do that um, every other day if I'm using this one which is by Dermalogica I use this every other day it does say it's good for daily I don't use it daily because I have sensitive skin and I swear by microderma abrasion I used to get it at a spa at least once a month but then I discovered this derma e I didn't discover it, they sent it to me but I fell in love with it it's derma e and it's a microderma abrasion scrub I take out a bunch as you can see it's already like mostly empty um, I take a bunch out and I put it all over my skin and I go to town <laughs> I honestly go to town with this now if I use this I'm not going to use this for another three four days so be very careful like if I don't use this every single week then every two days I, I use this but then if I use the Derma E1 I wait like three or four days before I start using the scrub again all right so after I'm done with the scrub when I get out of the shower I go in with my micellar water it's by Garnier I've been using this for many many years and this is probably my 40th 50th bottle and um, I've actually introduced this in one of my videos this is one of my I think their video was Amazon favorites it's these little pads that I put my micellar water on and I go all over my face to make sure it gets rid of all the buildup and all the oil and everything you won't believe that even when I scrub my face and clean it in the shower I still get like dirty things on here I will link everything down in the description box below so don't worry then after I'm done with that I go in with a toner now as far as toner I have two I have this one by Derma E that I use and this other one a glow oh is this is the milk dew toner now I use this bottle by Dr. Brand to put this Derma E in here because this is a spray and I love the spray toner so this is the same product in a different bottle <laughs> Then after I'm done with that, um, for my morning, I always, always, always put a vitamin C every single morning. This is a non-negotiable for me. So I every single morning put this on. Then after I'm done with that, while my skin is still damp, I put hyaluronic acid right before I put in my moisturizer or my cream. I go in with this. Now, if my skin is not damp, then I have this water bottle that I missed it all over my face a little bit. Then I put this on because you want the moisture to be locked when you put this and you want the skin to be still moist when you're putting that on then after that I'm gonna go in with my cream I do have two different ones that I use and I love one is by Clarence and I've introduced this again when I was doing my uh, get ready with me video this is heaven honestly smells like silk and heaven and everything and it definitely feels like silk and then the other one is the cream by drunk elephant that I've been using this one also it's amazing moisturizer it makes my skin so smooth and it's one of those pump things that you press and um, it comes out which I love I actually prefer this kind of packaging better because I'm 100% sure that I'm not putting I mean my hands are always clean when I'm doing my face that's another thing make sure your hands are always clean when you're doing it but still this just makes me feel so much safer and more comfortable then after cream I'm gonna go in with a eye serum again I have two that I swear by and I love both of these I've used many 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 different ones but these are my top two favorite the first one is by Clarence the total eye lift I also introduced this in my get ready video so if you haven't seen it make sure you watch it I put one pump and I use it for both eyes same with this one I use one pump this is a eye cream by drunk elephant I put one pump on this and I spread it into two different fingers and I just tap 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 one thing you do want to do is you don't want to rub the product on your skin 
because um, every single product that I put on my hands first I kind of warm it up first and then I put it on my skin I dab it because you don't want to move around the product you have underneath it so after eye cream I'm gonna go in with the SPF um, again I do have two different ones the days that I'm putting makeup on I go with a tinted uh, this is by Elta MD SPF I've been using this for three or four years I go in with a tinted moisturizer um, the days I'm not doing my makeup I just want to have a clean skin day I just go in with the clear not tinted one these are SPF 46 the other one I use is also by drunk elephant daily defense protection this is SPF 30 and this one has tiny little beads in it which is like super super interesting and it feels amazing on the skin the first time you put it on does have a little white residue but then immediately after maybe five ten minutes it completely goes away then after SPF I go in with a face mist this is a facial spray with aloe vera herbs and rose water which um, has like this calming effect on your face and it smells amazing and it feels amazing I'm just gonna put it on it definitely feels so amazing sometimes during the day I feel like I want a boost of hydration and I put this on just randomly even over makeup then after the face mist I moisturize my lips I have two different ones I swear by this is I've been using it for over 10 years this is by Vaseline and I use the cocoa butter one I think there's a cocoa butter regular one and I think there's like a cherry one this coconut one is my favorite or cocoa butter not coconut uh, cocoa butter is my favorite and then this one I've recently started using it's by Kiehl's um, it's butter mask for overnight lip mask and I have been obsessed with this I've already used a little bit as you can see my uh, trace of my nails but I've been obsessed with this now here's one little secret that you need to know I can take this off so I can tell you no matter how much skincare you do like no matter how much product you put on your face no matter how expensive the product is that you're putting on your face if your body is dehydrated nothing is gonna work like no matter how expensive the product even if you have like a $700 moisturizer you're putting on your face and it has all the goodies in it if you're not hydrating with water <laughs> your skin will be dehydrated so all of this is great that you're putting on the outside but on the inside make sure that you're hydrating so again yeah if you're not hydrating whatever you're putting on your skin it's not gonna work my next video hopefully it will be my night skincare routine which is very similar today I just put a few extra products on um, and I don't put SPF for night obviously but I do put extra few steps in especially when I have makeup on so definitely stay tuned for that and I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video I hope I can make it into under 10 minutes with all the editing that I do so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please let me know if there's any other videos that you guys will want me to do and uh, see you guys on the next one